It's reality check time. Hey everybody, it's Joshua Campbell, your knowledge broker. Are you thinking about making a move this year, but you're unsure as to what's going on in the marketplace? Well, I'm here to give you my opinion and my take as to what I think is going to happen in the foreseeable future. As you can see in this graph behind me, that's the sales activity. We saw sales go to the peak during the pandemic and they've fallen right off. Now, I truly believe that we've bottomed out. I think our prices are starting to stabilize. We're starting to see houses sell for a stable price point um, across different types of properties, across different areas, which means that realistically the next step is to go back up, but the question is when. I believe that when is when the Bank of Canada finally announces that we're no longer going to be increasing our interest rates. I think we've seen it. I think we saw our last interest rate hike, and the next announcement is going to be to leave it alone. Once we know that they're going to be leaving it alone, I believe that everybody is going to have this thought process in their head that we've hit bottom. And when we've hit bottom, people feel like they've caught their ground, they can start running again. And what happens with the economy is that it starts to grow. And when it grows, it builds confidence. And when it builds confidence, people start paying more money for houses knowing that they can afford it. Another insight that I have is that the price jumps and the competitive market that we had during the pandemic, those days are gone. While we will see houses that are priced right, that are moving ready, that look amazing, yes, they will get multiple offers as they always have, but we won't see it on every single property in the market. Now, what does that mean? It means that it's good old fashioned real estate. It means you have to actually have your house ready to sell. You have to make it look its best, whether you're staging it, how you market it, drone footage, photos, you name it, all of it's gonna matter because all of it's gonna dictate what you're gonna get in the end. A third thing that I've noticed, I've seen most of the new home sales come to a halt. I've seen most new home sales sites close. I saw them close as early as last April and May when interest rates started to jump and prices started to fall. So what happens next? Well, realistically the prices that they sold for during the pandemic, they're not achievable right now. But that doesn't mean they can't continue to build houses. So once you start to see new home sales sites open back up, you're going to start to see this home world start moving again at a faster pace. In conclusion, the market for me is the same as it always has been. I'm here to help you sell your home and buy your next dream home. Whether that's downsizing or upgrading, whatever it is, that's my job. My job is also to teach you and train you to realize that buying and selling is relative, meaning if you're selling for a record price, you're going to be buying for a record price. If you're selling for a lower price, you're also going to be buying for a lower price. My job is to educate you and make sure that you're well informed in a market like we have today. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always here to talk to you. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.